beautiful. This is exactly what they had in mind. Gorgeous. So please, friends, gather in. Stand shoulder to shoulder as people who want to bear witness to this imminent union. Please place all your devices on silent or better still, throw them away and lose yourself in this day. All light surround you and the pure light guide your way on, guide your way on. So this celebration today is the next step for Deanne and Ben in their journey together. It's an assurance from one to the other that this is the lifelong path wherever it shall meander and a promise that wherever it leads, they can turn to find each other. Remember that. It's also a fantastic excuse for an enormous party and we're all aware of how fond of a party these two are. But before the meats are roasted and the drinks are smashed, and the merriment of love and friendship erupts, I want you all to just edge in, whether it's physically or mentally or emotionally, just be with us right now in this moment. I want everyone to really mark this time and this space and hold this circle right now. I am to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you're now about to enter. Now, Ben, marriage according to law in Australia, is the union of a man and a woman to the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life. Now I am required to say that in Australia, marriage is the union of a man and a woman, but Ben and Deanne, and most people I think, would like to express their heartfelt desire that one day soon, anyone will be entitled to the same legal marriage that they are entering into today. Daniel and Janice have stood before us all and made promises to each other, some that we didn't hear, <laughs> declaring that they will spend their lives together in marriage. So with all this said and done, I am extremely happy, by the power invested in me, <laughs> to pronounce you husband and wife. So Dan, please feel free to ravish your gorgeous wife. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.